Hello everybody, today I will be doing rollers and springs on the motor on the 79 Maytag A106. I've got the machine unplugged for safety of course. Take off this cover. Take off the wires. Okay, I got the belts off. It actually doesn't look half bad underneath. Not as much oil as I thought there was. So that's a good thing. So I'm going to go ahead and get that pulley off. Here's the condition of the original belts from 1979. They are quite glazed, but they still actually work just fine. There are the four 3 8 nuts holding the motor plate down to the base of the machine. Remove those, it should come out. Okay, the motor's out on the workbench. I've marked the plates as to which part faces the front. Now I can continue taking this apart. And I've made a note that the springs are on the ends. I guess that's the only option in this machine. I've seen some of, some of them where they have the third, the third opening where you could put a third spring, but this doesn't have those provisions, so I will disassemble this and clean it up. And this roller has got flat spots on it, and it's kind of looking like it's seen better days. It's probably a good idea that I go ahead and get this knocked out. And to remove the motor from the base, there are four more 3 8 nuts that need to come off. Two in the front, two in the back. And I'm also taking note of how these springs are put in. The hooks point down on that side, on the front side, and they point up on the back side. So now I will get this apart and clean it up and put the new rollers and springs in. Here's a look at these rollers. They're pretty dry, so this surface is probably beyond time to have been taken care of. But I'm getting it done now, so that's the main thing. Okay, I've got the new glides. And I've uh, got them lubricated with the included packs of lubricant. And now I will reassemble. Okay, the motor is mounted back onto the base plate. Now ready for reassembly into the washing machine. And I'll go ahead and wait and hook the springs till after I get the motor mounted back on the base of the machine. And I almost forgot the ground wire, but there it is. So now we're ready to go back into the washing machine with this. Okay, the motor's mounted back in place. Now to hook the wires back up, put the pulley back on. And then put the belts back on. I'll hook the springs up before I do that. But I've cleaned up underneath. It doesn't look half bad. I can just see the dampers. They're still in place. But they look awful thin. So that's certainly on the list to replace those. But doing one thing at a time. And today's taking care of the motor. Okay, everything's hooked back up. Springs are hooked up. Everything seems to be gliding pretty easily. 
So now it's time to put the pulley on and put the belts back on. Another thing I had been concerned about is how tight the transmission is. I can turn it with one finger and it has resistance but it's not that bad. So I think we're still in pretty good shape on this transmission. Okay everything's back together. Got the belts back on and there's the tension so that's about a quarter inch deflection so that ought to be in spec it was just a little bit tight with those new springs so I had to loosen the pump just a little bit it's time to tip it back down and make sure it still works we're gonna get a startup sound of the beast it's just about filled up Just doing that made it sound quieter. So I'd say that was pretty good repair. And I also the other thing I did was uh, I cleaned the belts, got the lays off of them with the Scotch Brat pad, let them dry, and also cleaned the pulleys thoroughly. The agitation is still a little bit sluggish right at the startup, but I'll get in there and get the transmission oil changed and all that good stuff. And hopefully, we'll have a like new machine again. good. It didn't squeal when it went into spin so apparently the belts are tensioned correctly so that's the only other thing I wanted to check. Yeah it came with four of the they're square now and then the two springs and then two bottles of that uh, poly lube. And it's 205000 rollers and springs. So thanks for watching.